Hey Leo, welcome to your October reading. My name is Victoria from VX Prada. You can call me V. Um, on this channel, we do all things tarot. So yeah, you guys, if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in sign of Leo, these messages are for you. Shout out to my Patreon. Those of you in my lovers here on Patreon, I just finished filming the Fire Signs Love October predictions. And to be honest, I was going to film for Sagittarius after that reading, but Leo, like you just kept popping up in the messages. So I was like, fine, if I film for the fire signs, I'll, I'll, I'll film Leo's October reading. So here we are. Thank you so much for clicking this reading. Please give this reading a thumbs up. If you enjoy, subscribe for more. Let's get into it. You can also book a personal reading with me in the description box below. You can join Patreon in the description box below um, for that reading that I'm just telling you about. Um, and yeah, you guys, I updated all the pricings on my website for my personal reading. So if you are looking for an affordable reading, hit your girl up. It's my birthday season. It's my birthday month. So if you want to help me celebrate, please consider, you know, liking, sharing, subscribing, and maybe purchasing a reading. Okay, let's get into it, you guys. Let's see what is coming up for Leo this, um, this October, please, spirit. What's coming up for Leo, please? I just got off of a five-hour car ride. Um, I drove myself and my puppy safely back home for five hours for the second time ever in my whole life. I just learned how to drive, and I just got a vehicle. So, um, yeah, I'm just really proud of myself. So, you know, I know you guys understand hyping yourselves up, so I'm doing it on this platform. Don't mind me. Okay, right off the bat, you guys, we have masks. So someone is not showing their true feelings. It could be you. It could be someone trying to scam you. It could be a possible love interest. Stay woke. Trust your judgment. Trust your intuition. This came up in the uh, in the reading I just filmed for the fire sign. Not this card specifically, but they were speaking about deception. So this, I'm onto something. I'm tapped in. Also, beware of gas lighting okay someone hiding something something pre someone pretending i also feel like some of you could be losing something like something is hidden so um try to stay organized this october because it feels like you lost something okay or you just you just can't find something okay let's see what else is coming up for leo please we have stabbed in the back not a shocking attack what is going on there's someone that maybe you shouldn't trust or you shouldn't be doing certain business dealings with maybe there's a purchase you should not make so just try to save your money try to be conservative with your spending try to like you know save your receipts you may be having to return something okay but yes yeah, stab in the back it says heartbreak pain separation deception a shocking attack oh my god like it's really giving halloween it's giving scream with the knife okay i don't like that but let's see more we have both okay receiving what you need i'm gonna say this here leo you are divinely protected no one is gonna be able to take away what is meant for you no one is able to step with the step between you and your destiny what you what you are made for what you are meant for so please know that you are divinely protected please be like you know cleansing your energy and just don't be trusting you know the shady people you're very generous you're very loving okay so kind of just keep an eye out for how you're how people are moving all right but you're going to be getting closure when it comes to something or someone for some it's whoever stabbed you in the back okay you're gonna get closure on this if this is something that already happened intuitively i feel as though this could have been a friend of yours so you're gonna move on from something you've officially moved on you're no longer holding that grudge you're over it okay but we also see progression and arriving so some of you could be arriving at your destination okay so you could be traveling someone's traveling to visit you um if it's not travel related i feel so you've arrived you've um you've entered a new era in your life you've entered a new chapter in your life a significant one so i see you being quite um please about how far you have come there's something specific about and significant about the place where you are at now in october because you've come so far so give yourself love and give yourself credit please at the bottom of the deck we have lightning it says sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval transformation okay let's Oh, will it focus? There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm going to actually do something different. I'm going to go right into what it is that... Okay, let me actually pull this card. I'm going to go ahead and see right away what is this like sudden change about? What is this shocking news transformation about? Okay, so let's go ahead and see for Leo. Please, can we get clarity, please, on what this sudden change 
is about. What is the sudden change for Leo, please, Spirit? What is the sudden change and the epiphany and the transformation for Leo placements? <laughs> Do you see how crazy everything got? Okay, so definitely moving on. Okay, I'm going to put these cards back though because it's a lot. But I just wanted you guys to see the moving on card. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's too many cards. Okay, so we have we have awareness, disruption, the waiting game. Okay, so you've been very patient about something, Leo. You're going to see the energy around you starting to pick up either just energetically like you're just feeling it okay you're tapped in for those of you who've been really focused on healing and just awareness okay and your own spiritual development you're going to be noticing the energy around you picking up some of you maybe you've been out of work for some time you're gonna finally get a job some of you have been single for a long time you're finally developing a crush on someone or you're getting to know someone okay so you've been patient about something um i also feel like with the disruption card you are being reminded leo it's it's not rejection it's redirection so know that everything has happened within divine timing for your own good for your own protection never doubt the timing of things you are not behind you are not yeah you're not running behind you're not running late or behind on anything you are exactly where you need to be you're going to have a clear understanding a clear picture about what is happening in your life where why you are where you are and why you are the way you are. So just more self-awareness and more self-acceptance and discovering the truth, okay? So maybe something is revealed to you through an epiphany, right? Or information comes to you, comes your way. Sorry, my nose gets itchy when I film. But this is, um, this is the revelation, okay? So I'm seeing also you having like... Um, dreams that are coming true so those of you like if you know that you have some kind of psychic abilities or you've been kind of thinking about it like sensing that i feel so this is gonna be very clear to you this october okay so leo your guides and the universe are not playing they are communicating with you very clearly so just trust your gut speak to your guides have an altar period period i didn't even see this card you have the intuition card okay because you are getting stronger intuitive wise i love this for you no not your power is coming through just in time for halloween it's giving twitches Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm being silly. All right, so that was a lot. Bottom of the deck, spiritual union. Some of you are going to meet your match. You are going to align yourself with a divine partner, okay? So you could be meeting someone from a past life. Those of you that believe in, like, soulmates and, and uh, like, not soul ties, but, I mean, I guess. Just there's, there's a karmic energy bringing someone forth in terms of a union, a partnership of sorts. It could be romantic, but it could also just be anyone that is here to support you and just take you take you far in life okay so you're going to be aligning yourself with like-minded people your tribe essentially but there's one person specifically that comes up and this person feels like your better half so look out for synchronicities and just like very specific similarities that you share with this person uh telepathy also you can have telepathy with this person you just sense them without even ah some of you are sensing someone before you even meet them that's incredible and that's so beautiful comment below if you've ever experienced that just getting like a vibe with someone before you even meet them or yeah okay let's get into the tarot okay i've been i've done a lot of cards i'm just gonna pull three cards on career finance life stuff uh general life stuff and then we'll do three cards on love i already did a full on love reading on patreon just now for fire signs so like i said that's gonna be linked in the description box below uh when that video is up but let's start off with career and finance just general life stuff for the Leos watching, what's the general life stuff for Leo, please, spirit, for October? General life for Leos this October. General life. Are any of you guys watching? Okay, if you're not a Leo, probably not the Leo sons watching, but are any of you guys October babies like me? If so, comment below when your birthday is. Okay, so we have the um, Knight of Pentacles in the reversal. This is what I meant about it's not rejection, it's redirection. So some of you, there's an opportunity that, that you either feel like was taken away from you or you feel like an opportunity was missed. So there's something here about something maybe did not go as planned or something will not go as planned in October. Maybe you didn't get that job, that role, you didn't get that payment on time. There's some kind of delay here when it comes to something that you were maybe looking forward to. Now, the idea here is to always have a backup plan and to never stop 
wanting more for yourself and to never give up when it comes to like visualizing affirming and manifesting essentially you are so abundant okay you actually might go from having zero options zero prospects in in career finance all that stuff okay not feeling too motivated to boom overnight okay kind of thing you have all of these options all of these opportunities all these doors open up for you but it's really the mental this is where it all begins leo so positive thinking is going to keep you on the straight and narrow this this october the more you meditate the more you know the more you visualize what it is that you want the more you'll know exactly when it is presented to you because you have a lot of options it's easy to get overwhelmed <coughs> i just got overwhelmed speaking so fast for you don't think too hard about this decision that you've been weighing heavy on your mind you are ready you are prepared get enough sleep and get enough rest that's your homework for um october be out of your get out of your like head and like more into your body so dance move around things like that we have the full card some of you could be traveling soon or thinking about a tra travels um some of you could also just be seeking out new experiences maybe getting into a new hobby a new language um eating new foods there's something here about us needing to embrace newness i think i'm saying this to scorpio too so if you have scorpio placements watch your scorpio read um but there's something here about new element you're in a new element a new environment a new territory so for some it could be a new job for some you're going back to school you're learning something there's something here about education broadening your mind learning something new being around new people new social groups etc etc okay you thought something was a dead end you thought you had to give up on something you were going to give up on yourself even okay you don't even have to do all that babe i'm letting you know it's all what is meant for you is finding its way for you so that ten of swords had it been upright it would have been a sign of yes this is this is a dead end you have to let this go i would hold your hand and i would tell you leo you have to move on this is not meant for you but it's the opposite okay a fresh new perspective is going to come through hence the epiphany okay if it's not a fresh new perspective it's a brand new opportunity a brand new path is opening up before you i am so tapped in i have never spoken to you guys like this i have never even had a reading like this if you guys have watched my readings before, please comment below. This reading specifically feels different. There's different things at stake now, Leo. You yourself are different. I'm speaking to you differently. We have never spoken like this. Usually for the Leos, I have to hype you guys up. I have to remind you of your worth. We're not even doing that right now. We are seeing eye to eye and you are taking everything for what it is and you're just seeing so clearly and i'm seeing you clearly i'm feeling it like i already knew that this card was going to come up i was already describing intuition and being intuitive before that card even came up you see what i'm saying so that's how you're going to be experiencing october just feeling your way through and already being in the know understanding the assignment and just just moving like that okay let's look into your love life real quick like i said we looked more on patreon i keep saying it but i just want to let you guys know that i really came through for you like i really looked into it deeply but let's just get an overview of what you can anticipate and love this leo season please give this reading a thumbs up are we friends or not like give this reading a thumbs up like share and subscribe turn on your bell post notifications you don't want to miss a reading okay something very random i'm craving iced tea so that could be something significant for you sweet tea iced tea okay someone is called that like sweetie or iced tea. i don't know but uh, something here about iced tea that randomly came to mind and so i'm just going to say it okay What's happening for the Leos in love, please, Spirit? What is coming up for Leos in love? What's coming up for Leos in love, please, Spirit? What's coming up for Leos in love? I'm seeing something here about gestures, like um, kind gestures. Um, so someone's love language is... Um, the, the gestures one, like when someone does something and they look out for you. What is it? Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting. What the love language is, it's like gestures okay whatever but that could be significant so you are doing something kind for someone or someone is doing something kind for you a favor is being done for you okay let's 
uh yeah acts of service there we go acts of service so beware leo if that's not you you could be dealing with or attracting someone uh, that's their love language or they're gonna be doing things for you oh, i love it okay let's look at leo's in love this october please spirit don't mind me you guys i needed a full energy drink to do my drive okay let's see it's about the thunder it's about the thunder it's about to go down long distance vibes meeting someone abroad meeting someone that's outside your usual type okay fixed sign energy leo like you scorpio taurus aquarius energy but definitely you're getting this like travel energy or this stepping outside your comfort zone when it comes to love some of you are back on the dating apps or if you're you are on the dating apps Things could be quite fruitful for you over there. This is my app card, okay? So it could also be social media. I'm also getting here about something here about a bigger range. So again, if you're dating online, if you're on so uh, whatever, something here about a bigger range. So like get your radius bigger when you're on your uh, love apps, your dating apps. You know what I'm saying? Like don't just look into people in your city or in your neighborhood expand okay broaden your horizons some of you could be traveling with your partner okay or learning new things about your partner okay there's something here about not knowing what the future holds but just trusting it now I do want to let you know Leo I told you this earlier it's not rejection it's redirection you dodged a bullet so just know if something doesn't go as planned this month okay especially when it comes to your love life I don't care if it's the past, the present, I don't care. It's all happening within divine timing. You dodged a bullet, okay? Some of you, you were aligning yourself with someone that was not meant for you. The universe is trying to make that clear, okay? So you're dodging a bullet. So just know that you are divinely protected. We have the um, seven of pentacles, okay? I feel so you're going to be very dedicated in manifesting abundance for yourself, okay? Just very dedicated in like... Uh, improving your craft, improving your financial situation, whatever you are focusing on is going to grow and expand tremendously. So if you're focusing on love, if you already have a relationship to pour into, I see it really flourishing. I'm also getting fertility vibes here. So just keep that in mind for those of you who are fertile or could get pregnant. There's definitely something here about fertility or you could be hearing about a pregnancy because yeah i'm really getting that but i'm just seeing romance in the air or you at least feeling slightly delusional over love hopeless romantic vibes um just really loving getting to know someone really loving the work that goes into like the time and energy that goes into loving someone learning more about yourself um and love some of you are just watching a lot of films that have to do with love and you're feeling very inspired so you're very much like envisioning and daydreaming a lot okay and someone could be also taking you out and showing you all types of beautiful things um, pampering you making you feel really special and really excited okay so I love that for you we do have the um, four of cups and two of yeah some of you, you have options you're gonna have to decide between two people or two different paths when it comes to your love life okay let's go ahead we just had a new moon uh we just had a new moon in libra and it was also an eclipse the last eclipse of the year so i'll end this reading with moonology message let's get a moonology message for leo please what is the message you have luck is on your side this is a new moon in sad card um yeah abundance is yours luck is yours you're feeling one well with the universe you're trusting yourself a lot more the universe is only ever going to benefit you for doing that for growing and learning and being wiser and just not taking things personal the universe is always so down for that so luck is on your side abundance you're just going to be at the right place at the right time some of you you could be winning the lottery like something here about gambling i'm not telling you to gamble okay but i'm just saying that you could be getting lucky and you could be getting money in some way shape or form because that's also a form of abundance okay but i'm not whatever you guys do you guys be be mindful be okay you and your loved ones are safe new moon and cancer so if there's been drama or stress regarding a living situation a family situation um, a loved one just know it's all going to work itself out um you're going to end up happy your loved ones are safe um anything regarding them is going to be okay all right that's all i have for you leo i love you so much see you later um
yeah, I have nothing else to say. I'm just so happy. Like, I hope that you take this reading with you and you listen to it whenever you need, okay? All right, bye, Leo.